Okay, let's try this again. Had some issues with OBS. Hopefully we're live. Waiting for it. Okay. Yep. Sweet. Looking good. Okay, welcome everybody to the Detroit Arcade Club stream. This is Jimmy with Nerdco. And tonight I'm going to be playing a game called, I'm going to mispronounce this probably, but Desimon 3D for the N64. And this game is a shmup editor slash shmup. There's preloaded games uh, in on the cartridge, ones that have already been made. I show you the box, but it's gonna mess up because I've got uh, some settings on my green screen here. But uh, yeah, that's that's what it is. It's made by a company called Athena, which made a couple other games you may have heard of, including Biometal, uh, Desimon, other other Desimon series uh, for the Saturn. Apparently, there's a, a copy for NES. Uh, I didn't I was unaware of uh, interestingly enough I'm super into like obscure hardware stuff like DD and Satellaview there was a BS version uh, actually two BS versions uh, that, that they came out with um, and yeah it's a successful series it's been out for a long a long time they're I think they're still humoring the idea of, uh, of making newer versions from what I've read uh, so yeah, so I, I messed with the game once and didn't get super far because it's it's hard to read the menu the menu system and I don't know Japanese, so uh, I managed to play through the, the preload games, but I haven't had any success working on my own uh, shmup yet. So I'm interested in just checking it out just so you guys can see the the features of it. I'm going to be playing on uh, just my, uh, my import uh, N64, and uh, I've got a, a purple N64 controller with Rumble Pack. I don't know if this game is Rumble supported, but uh, yeah, I'm going to check it out. Uh, I'm in the chat as Jimmy Takis, so feel free to comment. I'll be reading on my phone here. Uh, Looks like Seth and Corey are on their way over to uh, get some gaming in tonight. Alright, so playing through S-Video. Pretty soon I'll send my N64 out to get the HDMI mod done for it. I'm, I was thinking about doing it myself, but seeing as how the, uh, the NES HDMI, HDMI mod went, I don't know if I'm going to tackle that. Alright, so let's go to game. And so user game would be anyone that I've created. There's two games here, Solid Gear and Usagi. I don't know what this these characters are here. There's a couple candy cabs in the background here. I appreciate this. Uh, how's the audio sound out there, by guys? Oh, what up? Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna check out Solid Gear. change it to, I think there's a lower difficulty, yeah, let's go to easy, because I am a wuss, and game start, well thanks, thanks for letting me know, Pickles got me hooked up with a, a new remote for my TV, so, uh, for my PlayStation TV, so now I can actually control the volume and the input with the remote, it's like reaching around the it's life changing if you, if you go from not having a remote to having one. Uh, I don't. I'm not aware of any other shmups really for the N64. So this is really foreign to me to be playing. You know, like other than like Star Fox or something like that. Like playing this type of game on this console just feels really weird. Sure, what these power ups are. Let's check it out. Hopefully, Tommy gets in here and can uh, make fun of me for being terrible at a shmup. Um, 
guessing that, so A is shoot, I'm um, controlling the, the ship with the joystick, and I'm guessing that B is bomb, yep, got a bunch of bombs, R does, okay, R does bomb there, C buttons do nothing, Z looks like some sort of targeting mechanism, can't play with the D-pad, so if you wanted to, you would click it. Those four shmups in 64DD. Oh! Cool. Take that, guy. I am awful! Did one job to avoid these missiles. Uh, from what I remember reading about this game, um, I don't even know what I'm getting blown up by. All oh, those little orange things. Game over! Oh yeah, there's a speed option there. Uh, I forgot to mention that I probably was pushing buttons on it. Yeah, for sure. I can change the speed for, uh, the game. How do I do that? Okay, that's what Z is. Alright. So that is... Fast time moving? Yes. Cool. That makes way more sense. I could—I was wondering why I couldn't avoid these bullets. And these are moving real fast. That feels way better. So hopefully you guys get to tune into the Logan show before we eulogy, where Logan is playing through some of his beloved titles for the Wii U, a uh, fitting end to a really, you know. I think it was a solid performance in terms of console. I had a ton of fun with it. And, uh, of course, we are gearing up for the Switch launch uh, coming uh, next month. Wow, I can say that now. Next month, it is just not even 30, 30 days away. I don't think. March 2nd? Is that right? March 3rd? Okay. So, yeah. Very soon. Very soon. I did pre-order through Amazon. I was mentioning on Slack earlier. I wasn't sure if I wanted to jump on it. I don't know who I was kidding because I buy you know, pretty much every Nintendo console as soon as it's available. I um, a big Zelda fan I always have been. And you know, Logan mentioned don't buy it just to play Zelda, but I am the kind of person that would buy it just to play Zelda. I just I can somehow justify that in my head. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for it. Uh, I'm excited for it. But... What's that? Oh yeah, yeah, Mario Kart. When is that? That's launching uh, like April or something like that. Cool. Okay, we cleared stage one. Yay! Yeah, what up, Pickles? <clears throat> I wonder if this is a multiplayer aspect, a two-player. Curious. I like how we're slightly changing uh, perspectives here. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, those orange little bullets kind of come out of nowhere, you're not expecting them. Oh, I could not have heard that. Game board? No! Please, like, hopefully I can continue from where I left off. It's not easy, like, right? Just let me continue. Cool. Yeah, you know, uh, good point, you know, keeping interest throughout the, the year is important. Um, and I really think that, I mean, maybe I'm just having some pipe dreams here, but I'm thinking the titles that we've been missing out on, you know, the Metroid, uh, F-Zero, we, 
can see some of those things coming back with the switch, assuming that it's you know that it does well. I, just, I think that's one of the things that uh, that held them back before was just not knowing um, that they were going to be able to release a successful game. But I feel like Nintendo's they're, they got their head in the game. You know, they're, they're back in, in a lot of ways, especially the stuff that they've been doing with the mobile platform and just. Uh, Trying to reach a broader uh, audience, and they're still sticking to the core, just like having fun. Um, I think Logan mentioned the pricing earlier for Switch Online services, looking to be around 20 bucks USD for the year. That would be, you know, I feel I feel really good about that. I feel like you know, nobody would have any issues, you no know, qualms about dishing out that kind of money for online play. Unless, of course, it was just a disaster, but um, I would be really in support of a system other than friend codes. If we could just go to a you know, universal username system, that would be great. Have a friends list. It's a pretty basic mechanism that you know, we've been using since Xbox Live. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard to implement. Uh, individual friend codes are just a thing of the past in Nintendo. Get with it. So far, I'm having fun. I, I've I read that this game isn't that long. Um, the preloaded stuff. So I'm thinking like something like five stages, something small like that. Uh, the other game that's on here is like a cute 'em up, if you will. It's kind of like a I don't know. It's probably a really poor reference, but it's kind of like a twin B, but in 3D. Ah, oh, the joystick is it, when you're on that that like higher speed, it is uh, super sensitive. And, like the joystick on the N64 controller is not. What are you supposed to do in that situation? Is not the greatest joystick in the world. There's not like a great range of, of motion. So. I want to say, yeah, that's right. Hori made uh, made a N64 controller. It runs about 80 to 90 bucks on eBay, and it, they actually um, so they get rid of the whole this side of the controller, and it looks more like um, like a better version of the GameCube controller. And they use the GameCube stick. I really should invest in that. I think it'd be worth it for as much as I play the N64. And, and probably how much I'm going to be playing it with this uh, HDMI mod. So. Check out the chat here. Arms, yeah, the boxing game. Yeah, uh, it is weird to think of. Uh, like the switch being in like a pro gaming atmosphere, really, really strange. I mean, I guess the the cube did have some of that with. You know, well, I guess you can say just the cube, but Smash Bros has always been like a, a you know, esports game. It would be cool to see you know, that they, they hinted at that with Splatoon being um, one of those types of games too. Where you might see Nintendo showing up on the main stage in terms of uh, esports and, and professional gaming. Uh, I did mention, but this game does have rumble support, so I kind of forgot about it for a little bit, but I'm going. Uh, what should I say about rumble, 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 don't lose it, Jim. Rumble packs. Rumble packs. What were you gonna say? Oh no, not rumble packs. But I was, I was. Um, so I bought some batteries to change out uh, the batteries in some of my cartridge games for N64. And so about, right at about the 15-year mark, you start having games that uh, lose their save ability. Um, and my sister's fiance has a copy of uh, No Mercy that he's been looking to get that will save. 
He bought like three different copies and all of them are dead, so I just told him, yeah, we just changed the battery on it. But uh, I was researching it earlier and um, there are a handful of games that use battery or um, SRAM, apparently what it's called. And there's another setup that they use for EE prom that doesn't require battery. It's kind of interesting that they decided to go that route where some would save on the, on the uh, ROM on the cartridge and then some would require batteries. I don't know if it was like an earlier development thing, like earlier games use batteries or what, but... Then they, uh, they mentioned that controller packs, so the memory cards, use batteries as well, which kind of sucks because uh, you know, you're at risk of losing all of your information regarding your saves. Um, so I'm going to probably start going through here soon and try to figure out how to make sure that I don't lose my important saves, like my Ocarina of Time stuff and um, Tony Hawk and whatnot. So there is a way that I found out online that you can successfully change the... Um, damn, we can you can change the batteries in the cartridges without losing the saves while, as long as you connect it properly while doing the repair. So that you have one battery connected at a time in order to not lose the save. So pretty rad. I'm going to try it out here pretty soon. I have so many backlog projects I need to work on. shaming me right now. This boss needs to go. Like, how are you supposed to get around this dude? Oh, that's it. Apparently I'm just supposed to go in circles. That's what you gotta do in shops. Go in circles. points I noticed you're in here I didn't see any comments from you but what's up not the 714 thanks for joining up uh, playing, playing some desert on 3d for the n64 oh almost missed that save whoops it is getting spicy in this room I tell you not too terrible to watch. It's pretty fun. I, I don't know like, it, if it's it super long or not, but I can't see myself getting super far in this game as is, so I just walk right into that. I haven't seen a ton of power-ups. That's uh, something that I've been lacking. rectangle is with the green lines. I feel like that's important that I'm using out something there. So recently I just picked up a copy of Super Mario 64 Rumble. And uh, it's exactly what you would think it is. Rumble feature. It's really strange to think that that, that wasn't a launch feature that they had to re release it. And that the, the US didn't you know, get a re release copy of it. I feel like they could have easily snuck that in with like future versions of the card if you didn't have to release a separate version, just like when you did the player's choice or whatever, you know, just refresh it and the support. Seems like a no brainer to me. But, you know, as always, you know, the, the Americans get treated as. The idiots that we are, and we miss out on all the cool stuff. Oh, 
Yeah, I know it's not too young. You're pretty sure. Which the B region. B bomb, I should say. Alright, I have no more of the R bomb option, so... I can't see myself beating this dude, but, you know... I've got a little bit more powerful gun now. But I think when you have those, that like red thing there, I gotta use the B function to shoot those. Oh, that came over. Dragon! Yeah, that, that kind of sucks right there, like when, when the bullets come through the bottom side of the ship and you can't see where they're coming from. That really sucks. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! Yeah. Oh man! It doesn't move all the way around! Uh, yeah, go monkey. I I got a little bit of a new setup. I got a green screen that I bought on Amazon for like twelve dollars or something like that, and then I'm um, just using OBS to uh, use chroma key and got me edited in there. You know, not a super wide angle there, but got some space. And uh, yeah, that's fun. Took me a few hours to set up and perfect, if you will. If I don't, if I don't beat this boss again, I'm gonna quit this this level or this game, uh, Solid Gear, and go check out the Saki game. If you guys have any requests, I have a couple other cool N64 games, import games. I have. Um, well, I think they're cool. I don't know if anyone else thinks they're cool, but I have Densha to Go, which I played a few weeks ago on stream. But that's a train simulator for, um, well, they made it on multiple consoles, but I have the N64 version, of course. And then, uh, let's see, Mario No Photopi, which is a photo editor, but it's a Mario-based uh, themed photo editing program. Um, what else do I have? So I have a... I have an N64 DD, so we could play some disc, disc drive games. We could play all sorts of stuff. We got a pretty good N64 library. Uh, I would say between uh, between the NES and the 64, I can't really say which one is my favorite. I, I grew up playing NES, and uh, that was the first console that I ever played. And, but N64 was a a big part of my childhood as well. That was when I really got back into gaming. I kind of skipped over Super Nintendo. I uh, had a few games. I had like Link to the Past and Super Mario World, you know, common ones. Yeah, then when Legend of Zelda came out, the following, the year after, I think when most people got there in 64, when the uh, Atomic Purple series came out, that's when I picked up mine. I still have that in 64 today. That is not the one I'm playing on right now. I'm playing in my little game room. I'm playing on my R RGB modded import uh, N64. Unfortunately, I can't share the RGB signal with you because I don't have a SCART capture device. So, soon it, or not a capture device, but an uh, input device. I should be getting a, uh, a frame meister sooner, sooner than later. Pricing just keeps going. Up on the up on those things. Yeah, we're in good shape. Uh, got three lives. Uh, up, oh, just kidding. Two. Two lives. What a bomb, this boy. Dude. That's too close, man. You should, you should be able to like fly over the top of those antennas without dying. See, I don't know what you do in that situation. You just you have to be. I guess you have to be have to speed all the way up and just get out of his way quick.
I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to beat this dude. This is pathetic, but... Oh, apparently it's Jack's are taking fire. Well, we're gonna game over there and check out the other game that's on here. No, I don't want to continue. So how is everyone doing out there this evening? Okay, there is so Usagi C H. It's not C H. It's whatever Japanese characters those two are. It looks like the menu is the same regardless of what game you're playing, so that's interesting. No, is there no... There we go. Easy. Keep in mind I was playing on easy before, on the previous game. Here we go. This is kind of cool, I love that little... That memory check there. Go, oh, we're going. So I think if I'm if I remember quickly, I am like a bunny rabbit piloting this this spaceship here. I don't think there's any other alternative weapons. There's just oh there's no, that's where the bunnies come in. I'm not a rabbit. But these guys are evil, evil bunnies. Robot bunny heads. They shoot out carrots at you, which makes sense because, you know, the bunnies love carrots. This part right here might, reminds me of Earth Defense Force. Hopefully, Pixel's watching. Just the, the rows of like, the crosswalks. That's what I'm looking at. It's kind of cool to think that, you know, if you were really serious, you could make you could make some cool stuff. But you know, you'd spend a lot of time here, of course. But just being the capability of like, being able to make uh, make your own game on another console, which has always been fascinating to me. I always loved R you know, RPG Maker, uh, like any type of like sim games, simulation games. So cool. Oh, I forgot I could increase my speed. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> oh, what up, 500 points? Thanks for joining up. I was wondering what was going on. Like, he says you're here, but... Yeah, Twitch has got to work on that, man. They... I feel like you should just know when there's a refresh on the, on the feed and you just go. Catch the replay. Uh, I didn't. I didn't do too hot in the first. The first game that I played. Um, the, the first game is called Solid Gear. It is uh, Code Monkey mentioned. It's kind of like Star Fox-ish. Um, oh, that was my first death. Uh, let's, let's slow it down underwater here. We got, we got enough room. Uh, yeah, Star Fox feel kind of. It's different. Check it out. I'm not sure what all these three power-ups do. Uh, there was no way I was going to make it through there alive. Come on now. Sharks, man. Shooting out missiles. I love these polygons.
Sounds like we got some company. What up, boy? Oh, uh, what up? Seven S. Yo. <laughs> Dude, you got Taco Bell, and now I'm jealous. Hey, Scotty. How far am I into the stream right now? Man? Do I have a timestamp on there? I wonder how long I've been streaming for. Oh, yes. 30, 31 minutes, 31 minutes. I'm thinking um, there's not much else to this game, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, okay. Um, one sec. Uh, yeah, so there's not a ton of content in this game. Like I said, it's, it's really more a... It's more an editor than it is a game to play. But, uh, that being said, I'll show you guys the editor. And I'll probably cut it a little short tonight, probably looking at like a 45 minute stream. Uh, just because we've got Seth and uh, Corey in the house. And, uh, I'm just gonna hang with those guys for a bit. Um, but I appreciate you tuning in. Anybody that's new... Uh, to to the channel, this is uh, just an extension of Detroit Arcade Club, which is basically a group of people that just love video games and arcade games in particular, and uh, we get together and hang out and play games in the Detroit area. Uh, some of us have our own little uh, private arcades. I, I myself, I'm working on getting my that city cabinet up and running. Um, got a lot of parts that I need to, to pick up for that still, but it's coming along nicely. I just cleaned out uh, the cab the other day and got things polished up. Um, the, the wiring, I just I have to order new wiring for pretty much the entire cab because it's been stripped by someone that was converting the pajama. So, uh, yeah. But we've got a lot of streams going pretty much every night of the week we've got covering lots of different platforms from Famicom to, uh, to PlayStation 4 everything in, in between um, one of my favorite shows is uh, way way back 19XDX that is by a good friend Pixel Polygon and he is going through chronological order of his, uh, his video games uh, trying to play them in, the, his, in the, uh, the order that he played them as a child and give a little backstory on where the game came from. Um, really good show. Um, I love that Logan's doing, he's historically done Famicom Zone, but uh, right now he's going through the, the Wii, Wii U catalog, which I mentioned earlier. And I've been enjoying that just because I didn't, I think I have like a, I have a pretty meager Wii U library. I think I have like a, 15 games for the console. Some of them I haven't even opened yet, honestly. I played a ton of Mario Kart games. Like Zelda. That's primarily what I, what I played for it. Uh, what else do we have going, though? We've got... Uh, adventures and personal computing. Um, where Greggles goes through and plays all sorts of all sorts of PC titles, and all these guys are super talented that, that create content. I'm really thankful to be around this community of uh, creative individuals that inspire each other, and and uh, it's a great it's a great group of people. Oh, Logan, sorry I missed that. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, good luck with your client in the morning. I have the day off tomorrow, per usual. I have uh, Thursdays off, so it's a good day to recover from late night video games. Oh, so did I beat the game? That's it. Um, so that's what I'm talking about as far as as far as content. Like this game, very little, very little game. 
Um, I'll see if we can skip past the credits. Push all the buttons at once. Nope. Whoa. That's kind of cool. I want to know what I was doing there. Um, yeah, if, if anybody's still on, are you interested in seeing the editor at all? I don't know what I'm doing. One thing for sure, I'm getting some T-Bell after this because these boys got it and I'm envious. Yo, we gotta get some of that chicken chalupa stuff. I mean, let's be real. Dollar inconsiderate. I really don't know how to get past these credits. I don't know if I can start to start doing anything. Nope. There's nothing I can do to get past this. Dude, you got the nacho cheese on there, huh? Yeah, that's where it's at, bro. Sorry about these credits. I was unaware that you could not skip past them. But yeah, so the uh, cool thing about buying stuff from Japan, if you aren't already into uh, input, uh, input, what, I'm reading, hearing them talk about something. If you're not into import games, uh, you almost always get like like new games from Japan. Seems like there's a, a cultural thing where the people in, people in Japan take care of their stuff, and we just treat everything like garbage, so. All right. Can I get past that now? <laughs> Code monkey, you're missing out, man. All right, so. Yo, Seth. I gotta show Seth this candy cab thing here. Stand by. I just wanted to show you in this in this game. It's just a random set of cabs. What game is this? This is uh, Desimon 3D. It's a shmup, shmup editor. A shmup editor? Shmup editor and shmup for N64. Yeah, I played a couple of the games that were on there, but I'm about to get I into. Am loading cabs. <laughs> Steph is almost the same color as the green screen, so. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how to I don't know how to get into the editor. Let's see if I exit. Let me exit this. There we go. Edit. There was a tutorial mode which I watched on YouTube earlier, but yeah, you, it's it's all in Japanese. What are you gonna do? No. Uh, okay. Edit. Okay. I don't want to edit solid gear, Yusagi. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Stage two, stage five. Uh, Amazon. 1499 or something. What? Yeah. Oh, Let's yeah, use two mic stands and oh, yeah, set them up, and then OBS. You can just chroma key it. That's awesome. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna do this. And okay, how would I go into the next spot? Background music. You can change all that stuff. I'm wondering if you can actually program music in here. BGM says BGM. BGM number. Ooh. There's a lot of preloaded music on here. Alright, so how do I get into the stage? How do I get into that? Like that. 
this stage. Okay. Save. I don't know what I'm doing, but can I play now? Whatever it is. See, I don't know. You're, you can get in and you can edit. I think you like you use existing stuff that's in the game to edit it. Um, okay, hit the start button. Nope. <laughs> Edit. Uh, this is the music stuff. This is the cursor speed. Yeah, that's just for like inside that inside the editor. This is the time limit. Font. I don't know what that is, it won't let me select it. Yeah, good point. So what is this? This seems unnecessarily difficult. Let's just go through the tutorial, maybe we can just figure it out. Just so I can see. Yeah, go, yeah, do your thing. Yeah, I'm gonna walk through the tutorial and just see if it'll let me show off some stuff. Alright, tutorial. Let's read this top one, because that's the first one. Okay, so this is just, I'm not doing any of this. It's just gonna go through. Oh, there we go, I missed that. E. The E is important. Oh yeah, if you guys need a game, I can grab it for you, whatever. I just want to see the actual editing of the, the stage data, so you guys can see it. change like the ship I think it goes through here model oh the music editor will be rad I should have watched how to get into that When I went in there before and clicked edit, it wasn't there was no option like that.
Man, I'm disappointed in this. Sorry, guys. Alright, let's try this again. Let's see if I can get it in here. Edit. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, 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 what's happening? Hey Corey, I got the uh I got the music editor open for this uh Desimon 3D shmup. Shmup boy, trying to figure out how to use it. Alright, alright, come on, got some levels. If I can figure out where to get the samples from. Can't select any of those. Uh, close that, edit, yeah, some frogs, cool different tones, this is a shmup editor so you can create your own game and the music inside of it. Oh, got some electric guitars. Let's hear it. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> That's some Seinfeld stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's. Okay, now pencil. I'm guessing that you just. Oh, sick. Whoa, this is. This is crazy. Yeah. Um, cool. So, one, two, three, four, it's only four, four, so no uh, odd time signatures, it doesn't look like you can change any of that. Some snare drums. Alright, got some twinkle twinkle there. Some echo. Ride, crash, snare, kick. Okay, so let's do the kick and then. Oh, I didn't even realize it was happening. That doesn't make any sense. What kind of... Okay. Okay. That makes <laughs> literally no sense, but... Kick, drum. Yeah, do cats cats do cats That's what we're going to have to run into. All right. That's so lame. <laughs> that sucks. Like, even uh, freaking Mario Paint, you could do that. Yeah. Kick, hi-hat, snare, kick, hi-hat, snare. Do oh, that would be hi-hat after that, huh? Hi-hat here. I wish you could just, I wonder if you could copy a section. Oh, I think you can. I think that's what that is, huh? Copy. Nice. And then paste that. Oh! That was just move? The next one over would have been copy? Okay. Frick. Um, wait, no, we want to go back to edit. Sorry, guys. If this is uh, probably painstaking to watch, but... I'm gonna create something just because I want to. Alright, let's try this guy. Copy. There we go. Oh, whoops, you can go up and down. Okay. Where's the playback? Yeah. Next 
I, I thought I only thought there was four bars, so that's why I wasn't going any further. Let's go. Let's let's slow that boy down. That's rad. <laughs> How do I loop? I, I know there was a loop section I saw up there somewhere. My Twinkle Twinkle LP, bruh. It's coming up. Let's wait for it. Slow it down even more. Uh, not just a little bit of shameless self promotion. Uh, I actually have nothing to gain, but. Uh, just people hearing it, but uh, I do have some music available on SoundCloud, uh, 500 points. So if you search my name, Jimmy Takas, T-A-K-A-C-S, you'll find some of my original content there. There's a there's a lot of information. Like you can go really in depth in this game. Like, whoa, okay. Preloaded stuff. This is dope. So, this is what you can do with the end game editor. Just think about that. So, like, the, the stuff that we were listening to earlier in the game was built in the game. It would have been really cool if, uh... Well, that music sounded really familiar. It would have been cool if there was a... Um... Like a MIDI input option for the N64. Dude, I could see myself uh, stealing this for some Vaporwave remixes. Some people aren't a fan of the N64 sound engine, but I think it's cool. Sweet, you can actually set different uh, buses, so like if I want all of the drums out, I get rid of that. If I want to isolate certain melody lines. There's the drum part alone. this boy out here. Let's put a build just so we can see what enemy map. Let's check out the map. Let's 
I don't really know what I'm doing here, but... I don't even know what I'm editing right now, but... Okay, that's cool. Pretty good options there. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's textures, but... What are you... what can you do? Oh, jeez. Oh, this is like so in-depth. This is way too... way too much. <laughs> yeah, no. Alright. There's a lot of that. This is so crazy. Like, you would have to spend so much time in order to get anything done in this game. Give you this sucker. Oh well, there we go. There's my uh, there's my shmup. So it looks like all those animations are the same. Cool. Um, we're uh, we're about at the hour mark. It took a little bit longer than I was expecting. So I think I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. Um, you got a good idea, I feel like, of, of what um, what this game is capable of. It's pretty in-depth. I didn't even realize how much stuff is in this game. But uh, This is, yeah, again, this is available on a lot of other um, consoles. Let's see, you can get Desmond for the NES. Desmond 2 for Sega Saturn, Desmond 3D for the N64, only in Japan. Um, Desmond BS, which is you can get the you can get the ROMs for the, any of the Satellaview games, um, just playing it via you know emulator, or you could get a um, what is it, like an EverDrive Super uh, SNES to SD. You can play that on your Super Nintendo. Uh, Desmond Kids for PlayStation, Desmond Plus for PlayStation. And uh, yeah, that wraps it up for, for the Desmond series. But it looks like there's quite a few other games um, that Athena made that I'm, I'm going to check out. I, I actually sold my copy of Biometal. I didn't play it at all. I probably should have checked it out. Because it was, it was a decent decent value that I got for it. So, But um, anyway, uh, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the stream this evening. Again, I'm Jimmy with Nerd Coalition. And... Uh, Hope you tune back in uh, later on in the week for our additional content. Tomorrow we have some stuff going on at the dojo. You're going to see some classic arcade fighters. And, uh, yeah, look forward to it. So I'll see you guys next week. And uh, I'm, I might consider picking up um, Half-Life Blue Shift next week because I didn't get, to, didn't get to play that at all this week. So we'll see you later on. And thanks for watching.